Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike with 3D Printly. And in this video today, we're going to be answering whether you can mix 3D printer resins together. So, I mean, the basic answer is, for the most part, you can mix 3D printer resins together. Um, it's best to mix together the same brand of resin, but for the most part, you know, two different brands of resin, you can mix them together. I know a lot of people mix together um, like resins with different properties. So you have like flexible resin types. You have like um, just tough resins, stuff like that. Um, those work pretty well. So you can like maybe mix 25% of a flexible resin with something like a, a standard any cubic eco resin and that should work pretty well so people haven't like run into any kind of like you know massive failures doing that because they generally work like they have very similar properties with each other so you can uh, mix different you know brands of resin together ideally it's the same brand but if you want to use different brands that should be okay you, know, you can always run a test yourself but yeah most people say it works pretty well now another question that people ask is whether you can mix resin dyes together, right? So I've actually bought this resin dye. Um, it's got 20 pigments, you know, a bunch of different colours. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, you've got so many different colours. You've got like the list of colours there. So this is um, it's a resin pigment. So obviously it works well with resin. Um, yeah, you have it's kind of like a quickly get one out. Just a simple liquid. There's white. Not very interesting. Let's find another colour. There's a sapphire blue. Looks very dark. So all of these different colours of resin uh, resin dyes, you can mix together with resin. But obviously you're not gonna want to mix it with like a grey or blue resin. Or depending maybe a blue if you mix different colours. Um, but you want to mix it with like a clear. A clear resin or yeah a standard to white resin because they mix like together quite well um, I haven't actually mixed them together yet but what I did is um, I did a print in clear so like here's a clear print it's like a dog I have put together a mesh mixer yeah, it's a dog and a lion on top but yeah basically I did another model it kind of failed on the legs but yeah, you get the point this is done for my niece so I didn't actually put the resin mixed together. I literally got the resin dye and I like dripped it on and kind of mixed it in and then I cured it, let it dry. And yeah, it's come out like a clear kind of pink model, which is, yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. But instead what you could do is literally get like a small kind of see-through cup, uh, pour your resin in, mix a few kind of uh, drops of the dye and then you know mix it together and then pour it into your resin vat and that way you can get like a whole new color you can obviously mix multiple colors but you know when you have like 20 different colors there like you won't really need to mix it but you can if you want to you know you can really narrow down you know what specific color you want and another thing you can do is actually in the middle of a print you can mix in more dye so you could pause the print mix in some more, swirl it around a little bit, and then you can have multiple colors in one print. So yeah, that can work pretty well. Like I haven't done it myself yet, but I know a few people have and they've got some pretty good results, right? So yeah, you can definitely dye um, your, you know, your resin prints. Obviously, I think, um, well, depends what you want to do. Clear works pretty well. Because obviously it's a clear color, then it penetrates through clear quite easily white is pretty much the same you can try to use different colors i wouldn't recommend like dark colors like gray or black you know because they're they're going to be a bit harder to you know to dye the right color you know but yeah you want to make sure you're not like using you know powdered dyes or anything like that the liquid dyes work the best you shake them up you mix it beforehand and then you pour it into your resin vat so yeah that works pretty well so yeah, you can you can easily get like a set of these resin dyes from Amazon. Um, I'll probably put a link below to just to like a, uh, a pigment set, like a random one. I mean, they mostly work pretty much the same. You know, it's the same kind of um, stuff that you use, right? Um, if you really wanted to, you can like, you could 
create your own like recipes I guess so you could do a certain amount of drops and then kind of write down you know what combinations you like in terms of the colors or you can just get like a load 20 different colors like that and yeah you should have a pretty like diverse you know group of resins and in terms of storage like if you have um some spare resin bottles from before because they need to be that kind of um uv protected dark color so it can you know it doesn't cure over time so i mean you could probably get some uv containers somewhere that can store up the resin um separately but ideally yeah you want to kind of use enough for the print but there's going to usually be some left over so in terms of storage it works out pretty much the same as other resins so yeah you want to kind of hold on to your old bottles of resin not throw them away yeah hopefully it answers your question in terms of you know mixing different 3d printed resins together and being able to dye your resin so yeah hope you enjoyed that um yeah i mean it's pretty cool you know my niece like this so yeah it's a pretty cool model but yeah man thanks for listening guys uh yeah see you in the next one peace out